Our caregiver alert today begins with what we talked about last time, and that was injuries. And the alert is for this, reminding you to not judge someone else's pain. That loved one, that person you're taking care of, please don't judge, be an encourager. That's our caregiver alert today. Now we're going to be talking about contractures, so let's get right to it. We'll start with the definition of contractures. Contracted limbs is defined as a limitation of full range of motions in the limbs, usually involving arms and legs, at the knees, at the ankles, at the wrists, at the elbow. Joints are affected. Now this can occur in people who have been bedridden for some period of time. It can be folks who are in mobility chairs. They have lacked some attempt to mobilize them in some way. That is, fingers have not been stretched, wrists have not been exercised, elbows have not been exercised, and the same thing with lower extremities. So in this contracture, the right arm is contracted at the elbow, the wrist is contracted inward. Now we're simulating this, but you want to put your arm, left hand, underneath the elbow to support. You want to gently, and I mean gently, help with this contracture by pulsing down to pull. Again, this is painful for the individual if they've been contracted for a long period of time. So be careful not to hurt and communicate and let them know what you're doing and ask them how they're feeling with this movement. Now, in the case of fingers, same thing, pulsing out. Now, with the elbow and arm and fingers, you'll notice that with the contracture, the finger will go back a little bit and that's okay. Eventually you want to do it with all of these fingers, pulling up gently until you get a full extension, not being concerned as the finger goes back a little bit. Now with long contracted limbs, it will be harder and you may have to do this several times, but on a daily basis, to help with the contracture and to prevent contractures particularly, you want to be exercising these body parts. Until you get full extension, and then if you can press a little bit more, that would be terrific. So to maintain the extension that we've got, the hand will curl back again, but we put a towel in. Now, working with your occupational therapist, and we'll go into braces, they'll be able to provide a brace that will fully extend those fingers again. Again, the same thing with other types of contractures. There are braces available, and we'll be talking about that shortly. Promote daily standing using walkers, using canes, whatever mobility device you're using at home. If necessary, help the person get up for periods of that type of mobility if necessary. You can do it yourself, or if you need help, please incorporate another person in this exercise. The movement on a daily basis is critical to prevent contractures. Now, Stretching, as we demonstrated, is important as well. Opposite flexion is what's needed here. Now, if the person is confined to a bed, they're bedridden, make sure you're using wedges and pillows to help with extending these limbs. Do as much as you can to extend them yourself using the pulsing method and then once you've extended them to whatever ability beyond where they're contracted, use these wedges and pillows to maintain that extension. Now we talked about braces and here are a few 
of the braces that you can use as well as the wedges that we would suggest. You can obtain these from a DME store or you can simply shop online. I actually found these at Walmart. So they're available to you. Uh, the prices are not bad and they will definitely help with issues of contracture. All of that said, Remember, your occupational therapists and your physical therapists are the professionals. Those are the folks you want to work with. They are the ones you want to learn from and then bring it home and apply it. Now, you're with them 24-7. The therapist may come to the home. You may go to them. But it is your responsibility 24-7 to be there. You know more about what's going on than anyone. So apply these principles. Do it on a regular basis. Don't skip periods of times. That's how contractures happen. Be on it on a regular basis and you should see good results. Well, that's our segment on contractures today. I trust it helped you. Next week, we'll be talking about something real important. That is the mental health of the caregiver. Like this channel. Refer and share this channel with others who you think the information here can help. I'll be with you next Friday. And until then, Jesus is Lord. I love you and take care. Talk to you then.